Unfortunately, my CV doesn't have a long list of, of if you compare the number of years, uh, 13 years now, uh, to, to the teams. I think in 13 years now, I've coached, in 12 years, I've coached two teams. And this is the 13th year, it's the third team with Sundown. So I hope to stay because I don't prefer hoping, you know, hoping. I think um, stability and integrity are, are important in coaching. You know, unfortunately, before I coached Sundowns, I only coached two teams, which is Supersport and, 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 and Bafana. And at one stage, I was coaching Supersport and Bafana at the same time. You know, but um, yeah, hoping, I don't think I like it. You know, I like to stay. So hopefully, I will stay at Sundowns. I believe I'll stay. The president says, that if you do a lot of job, we need to to stabilize the team. He wants to stabilize the team. He has had so many coaches in, I think, 13 coaches, I think, in so many years, 13 years, something like that, or 11 years. So it has not been good, you know, so I want to stabilize. I'm happy. I'm ready for the challenge. I got my break after Bafana, so I'm up to the task now. Where we, we were at that time, and even now, most of the games we're playing, we're playing against everybody who's above us on the lock. And that was Free State Stars, which we got a point. I think we could have won the match. Okay, unfortunately, we scored an own goal on that, but uh, it's part of football. Uh, we played Black Leopards. We're a good team, strong team. They come from Africa, fresh from Africa, with lots of experience and... and, and, and um, Right mentality, you know, when you play in Africa, you get matured and you, you, you get experience of, 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 tough, of being tough. You toughen up when you go to Africa. So they brought that and, um, yeah, we, we managed to sneak in a goal against them. A match that I believe we could have scored three or four. We missed a lot of chances, uh, but we got the three points. That was good. And we played, we played good, you know. So... From Free State Stars, where we, we didn't manage to, challenge, to, to exchange a lot of passes. So the momentum just kept uh, growing. With Black Leopards, we exchanged three passes. But they attacked us as well. It was not easy. But uh, we went to Vets. Uh, I think we showed where, our capacity and what we, we can do. And um, we won again. And lastly, we went to Chipa, the game that maybe everybody thought we should win it easier, but uh, uh, I knew it was not going to be easy because I saw Pirates uh, 10 days before our game playing Chipa there. And I know what happened to Pirates. They, they got a draw. You know, and I don't think they scored a goal. You know? So we got a draw and people say, ah, maybe Chipa could have won. Yes, we wanted to win against Chipa. But Chipa are strong at home eh? and they're fighting. Eh? So... I think teams will know when they go there as well. I think they haven't lost in there for some time now. Eh? In their last three, four games, uh, they, they didn't lose. So, yeah, it was a tough away game, but we dominated 100%. We threw everything at them. They just never crumbled. They defended well. We played them in their own half. They've created one or two chances. I think they took one of the two chances they created. We, which we created a lot and could not take. But um, sometimes football is like that. Ball possession sometimes doesn't guarantee that you're going to win the match. Yeah, um, we have also a special relationship. I think we all know from Bafana that uh, I believe that he's a top striker in Bafana. And um, uh, he scores a lot of goals, and he scored important goals for South Africa. You know, uh, he scored big games against Spain. He scored two goals at past Casillas. He scored against France. He scored against Egypt. He scored against Ghana. He scored against Ivory Coast. He scored against Burkina Faso. Those are not small games, eh? So he's top. So. All I needed to know about Katlejo is does he has pain on his leg from his injury. He says, coach, the pain is gone. 
I said, fitness, he says, I'm not sure what I can give you, full match, I can't. So I said, okay, play a little bit against three sisters, play the last 25 minutes or 60 minutes, let's find out. He got a chance against three sisters, he could have scored, the ball didn't go, did, did not fall for him very well. So I said, okay, the movements are still there, the mentality is there, he's the same player, obviously. And then, one and a half days, we did what we can for him to play against Black Leopard, starting lineup. He's not ready, he's not fit. We put him in. He's an important player. You must try and have important players in the park. And the more you have important players in the park, the more chances you have to win. You have more chances to win because you've got the most important players to help you to win. So put him in there. Nyasha also didn't play. So Nyasha, how are you feeling, Mshekwi? Coach, there and here, not ready. Okay, can we go? So Nyasha created an opportunity for from Pella, and Pella scored, so you need to have all those important players in the field of play. And Killer, when he's ready, he's good. And we went to Vets, you saw what he did. So he scored again against Vets, so good. Um, yeah, the player, players like those, you must try and have them in the field of play as long as you want, you know. And I, I don't know what made me to change him to, in the last, in the 89th or 87th minute, I took him out against Chipper United. And after I've done that, I said, ah, maybe we should have left him because you remember against Egypt, he scored in the 92nd minute, you know, but I already made a change. And I also need to give Elazar a change, fresh legs and, yeah, but it's football. You, 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 we, we're not prophets. Yeah, I guess he was not getting a, his momentum properly with a lot of games. But uh, he's a kind of a player who can do anything with the ball, we know that. And he's very influential. And Pelembe works hard without the ball. He works very hard without the ball, you know. Um, a few of our wingers, he's one who works very hard without the ball. So we brought him in, he helped us, he played well. So yeah, it's good to bring his confidence back also. He's struggling now a little bit there with injuries in and out. Um, he, this is not his best season. Hopefully next year will give us better, but uh, uh, we're trying to put him in, in top, co top shape, top condition. Yeah, he's an important player. He's key to Sundowns. He's very important. Yeah, I mean, players, uh, I've worked with a lot of players in Bafana from from Sundowns, I've worked with uh, Wayne and Sandy Lenz. I've worked with Punch at left back. I've worked with Sianda, who was here. I've worked with um, uh, Kekana. I've worked with Tami Sanguini, uh, Teko, um, Pella, Jabu Mangele, Eliza Rogers, uh, Richard Henyegane. You know, almost these players, I've worked with them before. They know how, what I want and how, uh, what I'd like them to do for the team. And they know my philosophy. So it will forever be a, a, a plus, you know, so that it helps to have the history of the players. That's why sometimes uh, foreign coaches take them, take, they take time to adjust. Yeah, um, what I'm busy, I've, uh, I haven't even achieved my objective on that. Uh, I spoke about it, that Sundowns needs a balance. Uh, and the balance is not a, a balance in terms of uh, the shape formation only. It's also the thinking, the mentality, uh, uh, the right attitude. And, and also the, the, the thinking of we want to win to we, we, we act to win. So we can say, sometimes have been, a lot of players have been saying, we will come back, we will come back, uh, it's gonna come right. But the, the talk must, must walk, they must walk the talk, you know. The talk must fit the play. So that's what I, I, I said to them, I said, okay, I hear you, forever, every week, you're gonna come back, you're gonna come back, but you're not coming back. The other teams prepare more than you. So I had to sort out the balance first and um, 
to make sure that we have the positions are, are, are proper, the team is strong to attack and strong to defend. And we introduced, I have introduced uh, another player in the midfield to play in front of the four, two midfielders in front of the four. And uh, we didn't concede the goals, if you can check the history of, of how the, the, the team was playing. So we stopped the goals, but fortunately, and on the positive side, we also went forward to score goals. So we score a goal every match sometimes. So, so really, if you can check that, if the statistics that you can score every match, home and away, eh? so it means if you've got your, your team balance defensively proper, okay, you can still, if you keep zero behind, you, you have a chance to win because we score. So that's what is key for me and that is what is important for me to, to sort, out, sort that out. So we got that out proper and it's good. Yeah, uh, it was important for me to bring Rama back. Uh, I've watched him attack, he's been doing very well. And I know Rama from Elia, you know. So I believe we need um, his defensive capacity. Uh, he's able to help us. He's able to defend and attack. He's got a strong body. Uh, and he's got a good mind. He's got uh, a professional mind, uh, which is very important. And that's one of the things I speak about as the balance, you know, uh, because not only talent can make you a better player, you know, and players like Messi and Ronaldo are showing that as much as we are talented, but we play week in, week out, Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday. If you can check how many games they play. So you ask ourselves, sometimes we're saying uh, our players are tired. Or what about Messi and Ronaldo? And the output that they give on matches, the number of sprints and tackles that they get. So it means these guys are true professionals. So, and they look after themselves. So we brought Rama to help us and stabilize us at the back. Um, we, I gave Subuso Kumalo a chance to train with us to come back because he was all on the outskirts. Uh, yeah, let me see him. Let he, he has to take the position. So I gave him a chance and uh, we, I'm busy assessing. Yes, we have a little bit of a challenge at left back because Punch is injured. We miss Punch and we're waiting for Punch. And Teboko is playing Langerman left back now as, as his key position. But even though we know that Teboko is also a winger. So, yeah, those are the key players we, we brought back to stabilize. But uh, it was also important to get players like Method Mwanjale, who was forever in the stands, back into the starting lineup. And Method got a shock of his life when I was. I was here one and a half days, says, you start him. You're going to be starting from the stand, not even from the bench. And uh, he looked at me and said, yeah, you, you are starting. And uh, because I know, yeah, I mean, the guy, has been, he was a captain of Zimbabwe. So many caps. And then we expect him not to be able to play against Free State Stars. No. OK, it's a gamble I took because it was my first match without training. And I said, he must go. But I know the mentality. And I asked him if he's okay, and I said to him, I want you to do this for me, because I know he can do that, and I instill confidence with him to say, I'm giving you a starting lineup from the, from the stand to the starting lineup, and sometimes when you, it's like a shock therapy to the player, you unawaken or you trigger the system. And I said, I trust you, go there for me, you will do it. So take your position back. And He's never out ever since. We're here in Polokwane, one of the best games he played uh, on a friendly game. So he's good. So unfortunately, his condition is not up to task now. But with this training we have for the last 15, 12, 14 days, oh, he's improving. He's good. He looks much sharper. So um, it's good. Yeah, you, you bring back, you know, you bring Nyasha back, you bring Mangela back. You bring Pella back, you bring Pelembe back. Those are the players. I brought Tami back, he was not even on the bench. Tami Sangweni. I said, go play against Free Stars. He was shocked. You know, Richard has been always on the outskirts, but uh, before I came here, he played against Amazulu. 
I mean, against Blue Fantasy Celtic Scott. So I didn't want to cut the momentum. So I keep. So sometimes it's mental, eh? It's, you play with the players' minds, and, uh, and, and, but be genuine to them. Eh? Give them confidence and talk to them the right way, because players are not stupid. If you, you, you don't tell them, if you don't mean what you say, they will say it quickly. So if you are, if you are genuine and they trust, they believe, and uh, they will play for you. And uh, I'm happy. I get a very good response from the players. Yeah, we've been working very hard. Everybody works, you know. I, I, I can't, I can't say, I can't put a blame on on any player. They're respecting me, but they know I give them the respect back. Okay. The only thing I said to them, I said when I watched the cup final, when they played uh, Bloemfontein Celtic, in the cup final. There's one thing that hit me at that time, and I was not the coach of Sundowns. I didn't even know that tomorrow, the next day, I could be the coach of Sundowns. I saw a supporter crying, you know, and um, to me it was very, it hit me that thing. And I was, I was never at Sundowns. And I say, look at the poor guy. He might not be having a good job. He might have traveled from Mamelodi to go to KZN with his little money that he earns, with the Sundowns jersey that he, we worked very hard to buy it, uh, and w and make sure that it's there the cup final to support this team, to shout at the top of his voice, and to his disappointment, his team loses the final. You know, I'm not saying that any team will lose the final, and it's good that the team arrived at the final. So it means Sundowns a good team, but also this is what I told the players. I said. We must be conscious about these things. We must understand how people feel. We don't take things like that for granted because we are privileged, we're playing, we're earning good money, and uh, we, we are on the newspapers and TV like superstars, and you don't care about an ordinary person. And those are the people who make this team. Those are the people who remain with the team. Me, as a coach, and the players, we come and go, they remain. He can be here for eight years until he dies, you know? So those are the most important people. These are the owners of the team, to be honest. So we should give respect to our performance and our attitude and our conscience and the respect and the integrity for the badge, for the brand of Sundowns must be equal to the task. So that's what I said to the players. I said, no shortcuts. We're here, we do the right thing. And I don't like to put my... My, my name and my career at risk because of one or two players who think they can do their own thing. I'm still fighting the mentality at Sundowns. It's still not yet there. But, but look, they're giving me a good feedback, okay? But you know the story. There, there are those who think the team rotates around them. And it's okay. It's okay to show arrogancy. Nothing wrong with that. But also show it, help us to, score, to win. Eh? You know, I like people say Ronaldo is a little bit arrogant, uh, different than Messi. He's full of whatever of himself or all those things. But you need that a little bit of arrogance in a player. Eh? And that's why he scores goals. That's why he's Ronaldo. That's why the whole world knows him. So we must take that arrogancy and that must affect the play. And that must affect positively affect the performance of the team. So that's one of the key important things that we need to do at Sundowns. Yeah, it is, it is very sad, uh, 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 media publicity sometimes. The media is there to support, obviously. We need the media. And sometimes even negative publicity of the media helps us to be better people, helps us to improve, helps us not to sit on our laurels, it helps us to, 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 to understand life and, and we, we must accept criticism. So media is never only negative, it is positive. The negative can you turn it into a positive side. You grow, you know, you get matured and know that life doesn't rotate around you. Uh, so, so that's the other thing about media publicity. But these things of that uh, Mangala is going, whoever is going. No, I mean, where are they going? I need Jabu Mangala to score the goals for us. We still need him. 
So we're not loaning out any, uh, we're not taking out our important players. We keep our important players. They're important. You must have them in house. Yes, we want to strengthen the team during this period of January, but uh, it's not easy. Eh? Players are whole, teams are also not want to release their players. Eh? Sometimes you can only get the swap deals, you know, and the swap deal must suit the, the team, the opposition, it must also suit us. And normally it's not easy to find the perfect match that we want that, take that. So you're always looking at anybody who wants a good player from another team. And a good and a, the co opposition coach doesn't want to let it go. It's normal. I'll let somebody tell me that he wants Impella. I, I would say no. It's important for for the team. But uh, yeah, I would say that uh, we need to strengthen the team. There are strategic key strategic positions. Um, be, just because of injuries, with injury or with punch, and we're waiting for punch, and we don't know how long will he come. You know, so we have um, Leboha Mukwena, a very important player for Sundowns and to the country as well, injured. Uh, so we now also taking other players, like a four, we like to play on the left, we take him to the right also. Sometimes, um, yeah, we need to strengthen in those areas. Um, uh, we also worried uh, about uh, uh, the sanctions that have been put against our Zimbabwean players. So you never know what's going to happen. So we're cautious. Uh, obviously, we support our players at Sundowns, and um, we positively believe that it will come out right. But uh, you also say that in case anything happens, you should be able to say that I have enough cover at particular players. So that's why we want to strengthen.